Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, we're going to stitch some bunnies. They're pre-made bunnies made out of felt. I happen to find mine at the dollar store, but you can find them at various places like Joanne Fabrics or fabric stores. Even some big box craft stores will have them this time of year. They're used for either tablescapes or for napkin rings, for settings, for little things for the table. The important part, and it doesn't matter if it's the same shape or color, but the important part is that you can stitch through it. You can even cut out this shape from felt or any other fabric that you have on hand. It's a fairly simple shape. When combined, it's intriguing, and just by itself, it's also very interesting to look at. I add a little embellishment for a button, just for a little bunny tail, and then I pull in some additional Easter colors, or spring colors if you look at it that way. So let's get started creating this little masterpiece. So here's another fun project where you can use existing pieces. This is from the dollar store, but they're little decor and ornaments and things like this that you can buy seasonally, according to whatever season it is. This happens to be Easter, so they're bunnies. So I bought three packages of them. They came in three colors, and I bought the blue, the pink, and the purple. I thought they were adorable with these little bows. But I wasn't sure how I was going to use them. I just knew that I'd use them in my sewing because they are just fabric. Felt backing, there's a little bit of padding in here, and stitched around. So what I wanted to do was just use it in my slow stitching, kind of as the focal point. I'm going to use just one today, but I've used three in the past and I'll show you a variation on that. So I'm going to use the purple one. I have just an old piece of quilt here. I'm going to use this side of the quilt. And I have my bunny here, but I'm going to use the back of the bunny. I want the felt to show through. So I'll remove this bow, and it doesn't matter. There's a little bit of glue there. I can try and scrape that off. I just don't want a little bump on my work. I want it to be lay flat. And if I have to cut it off, I will, but it's pulling off just fine. And I could cut apart the bunny and just use the felt. can even use this as a template for other stitching. But today I'm going to stitch it right down. I think that looks really cute already. It's just a simple quilt, and I'm taking advantage of whatever was on the quilt. I have some pieces of fabric here, just little scraps, and I found this purple that matched the bunny, so I thought that was appropriate. Then I have this little spring color. It's kind of a cross between a green and a yellow. And I have some pieces here. I'll just play around with the design. Just like that, adding it to my bunny. So right now, I'm going to stitch everything down. I have some white thread here, some pearl thread, and I'll stitch the outline of these shapes, the little collage. And then I have one strand of purple embroidery floss. It's a little bit darker than my bunny. And I'll just stitch around that on the existing stitches just to hold it in place. From there, I can play around with it further. So I'll take some pins now and just hold everything in place. Depending on the fabric you use, in this case it's an old quilt, it can have seams and it can be hard to stitch over. So I'll just play around with my stitching, avoiding any of the seams or any of the areas that are hard to stitch through. Find the place that I want my bunny to go and stitch him down as well. Now from there I can decide if I want it to be the front side of the bunny and I can always stitch in a little face, can even use that bow right around the neck if I wanted. But I think I'm going to take just a white button and stitch a little, essentially, a cotton tail on that bunny. I think that looks really cute. So I'll start right now with my white thread. And I'll jump right to this front little piece here. And I'll just stitch down using a running stitch all the way around each of these shapes. It emphasizes the stitching aspect of this, and it tacks it down, so it really serves multiple purposes. You can use any size stitch that you want. I'm going to jump right in with a fairly large stitch. So after it's all stitched down, both the fabric collage pieces here and the bunny, it's starting to come together. I have this little button that I want to put on a bunny tail, and I'm not sure if I want to use white thread or some purple thread. I have four strands of purple, and that was my original thought, so I think I'll go with that. 
hold the button in place now the first loop or so I have a little leeway where I want to have the button end up eventually So I think that's really cute. I'll knot it off. And here I have a very simple Easter inspired little fabric collage here for my slow stitching. I could continue to outline it with stitches or add additional elements. Right now I really like it just as simple as it is and I'll use this in my work. I wanted to show you a variation though. You don't have to use just one of the bunnies. You can put them all together. Now from here I can decide if I want to add little pom-pom cotton tails. Or I want to stitch a series of French knots. Maybe I'll do that for texture. So I have little pieces that I can work with starting from these little felt trinkets that I bought in the store. I'm really thrilled with how it came out. So that's how I use pre-made felt bunnies to make a little bunny scene for my Easter stitching. It's a little project, it's kind of very simple, but you can take it as far as you want, embellishing it further with stitches or beads or other elements. I added a little button, but you can really take it to town. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today.